Corey Marsh is from the original swamp land that was deeded to Michigan Agricultural College um, from the legislature in the mid 1800s. Michigan Agricultural College was selling off a lot of their swamp land and they actually sold this parcel to David Corey in 1890. And David Corey uh, farmed this land from then until 1911. And then he sold it back actually to Michigan Agricultural College. When I came out here and I saw this property for the first time in February, and it's amazing, it's a beautiful piece of property. And I realized there's what's missing from close to campus is a place for us to highlight the natural resources research that we do. We don't get to highlight that to people that come and visit campus as easily. This place will have um, an intersection of things that there are pieces of around the MSU community, but um, that don't all come together. Um, there, there are people doing uh, ecological research and restoration research at MSU, uh, but they don't have a dedicated space for that. There are people doing um, undergraduate research. There's lots of undergraduate research at MSU, but, um, but having a research station within driving distance of campus um, on a daily basis where a student could come out here, we don't have that. And I think bringing all those pieces in that intersection will be really amazing for MSU in the future. This is a long-term project. And that to me is one of the most exciting aspects of it. We can have students, we can have the public, we can have scientists working on things one step at a time. And we can track the change in our, the composition of our community, the species over time. And how that changes with how we, the things that, techniques and things that we're using to um, restore this property.